Welcome back everybody. This is the Team Liquid Legacy Star League round of eight, the final match of the round, a PVZ between DeWalt and Ziggy. Yep, it is indeed. Here it is, guys. <laughs> the last bastion of Protoss hope. You, you see the t-shirt, you know what I'm about. You yeah. know who I'm going to be rooting for here. Even though my belief may waver, um, I, I still, in, in my cold mechanical Protoss heart, um, still very much want to want to take this, even against the fantastic player that Zeke is. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, I'm behind the wall all the way on this one, but it's going to be a tense match. DeWalt showing good, good form coming into this, but Zeke showing showing good form, kind of historically being one of the absolute best foreigners we've had um, since the advent of SC2. So hopefully um, these guys are going to be able to duke it out in a series worth remembering. Yeah, I mean, guys, Zeke has taken games off of pro gamers, right? Like, yeah. He, he's beaten Pusan, even though Pusan was retired, he was still a pro gamer, and Ziki beat him, so... Um, yeah, it's amazing. This, this guy, I mean, he's also beaten guys like, I think, Sky. Apparently he beat Sky just like a couple of days ago, which is crazy. Yeah. Apparently uh, he beat Lava as well, I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So basically, all these really high-level Korean Gosus who are playing in, you know, the Sonic Star League, Ziki can actually stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. So this guy, when he's on form, he is unbelievably good. Terrifying. And Terrifying he beat, he beat Dr. K which I casted. That's so and cool. Th then Dr. K is an ex-SKT coach. SKT1 coach. Yeah. Boom. It's, it's just awesome. So Zeke, do not underestimate him. He may have shown slightly <laughs> shaky form earlier on in this tournament. He managed to get through anyway, but his form was anything could have happened in those games. Um, mm -hmm. So all you non-believers, I recommend you start believing right now um, <laughs> because this is going to be a scary matchup. Indeed. But before we go into the game, let us give a shout out to our sponsors, Razer and Twitch. They are super duper awesome. Without them, none of this would be possible. Yes, so huge thanks to them. And uh, huge thanks to Team Liquid as well for uh, organizing everything, putting on the show. Um, now I'm just so happy to be casting a Team Liquid tournament. Yeah, me too. It's, it's a dream come true, uh, as, as you would say. Literally. It's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it, yeah. Re it really is. I actually have dreams about StarCraft all the time. It's crazy. Yeah? Really? <laughs> I, I actually dreamed last <laughs> night that I somehow missed the cast today because wow man what, what even happened i think <laughs> something like, surreal I, I think i got like oh oh dude it was it was i got locked in a closet you know like you know how in harry potter he's got like the evil step parents and he gets locked in the closet yeah. i was like harry potter and i like i was trying to go cast a round of eight but then like my evil step parents kept like locked the door and i couldn't get out of the closet i'm like shaking the door i'm like no it's starting right now i have to go cast it <laughs> oh well, that can to the best of us oh. but you know you're you're the you're the nuts and bolts Oh no, Elegant Stein, everybody take a sip. Everybody take a sip. I know you guys are playing the drinking game. Take a sip. Alright. Elegant, seriously, you're gonna take, kill somebody by alcohol take poisoning. A drink. <laughs> yeah, you've gotta be playing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. It's my sound system, man. Don't blame me. See, see, um, see whoever makes this damn thing. Alright, so uh, pa back to our matchup. Back to our matchup. DeWalt versus Ziki. Game one's going to be on Neo Jade. Now we finally have a non-TVZ here, so we can talk a little bit about uh, PVZ on these maps. Uh, yeah. PVZ on Neo Jade, I'm not a huge fan of because uh, the third base has a reduced gas value, and it's a bit difficult to take your fourth. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Uh, I mean, I'm just looking at the map now. I mean. It it can be really, really tricky. It can also be tricky to make any real headway against the Zerg when they've taken their third. I mean, Zerg can be um, very, very safe once they get up there and they get a nice lineup on top of that ridge. So it's going to be a little bit tricky for DeWall, and I'm interested to see how he plays this. Um, but I, I would recommend something aggressive. Yep, indeed. Although, DeWall did play one of the best t uh, PVZs we've seen on this map in the round of 16 against True Touch. Uh, which is an absolutely amazing game. If anyone didn't watch that, I highly recommend you go yep. back and watch it. It was so good. But uh, all right, I think we have uh, yeah. talked long enough, Elegant. Are you ready to go into the game? I'm absolutely ready. All right, here we go.
All right, here we are in game number one. At the top left, as the blue Zerg, we have Sass Ziki. At the bottom right, as the white Protoss, we have DeWalt. Yes, we do. By the way, guys, take a drink again. It, it all went pear shaped for me and my sound system. So, <laughs> you know, you know the drill. You got to keep up with it. Oh, you know, I'm man. doing my bit. I, I take a sip of water every time it happens as well. So I'm going to be just as wasted as you guys. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> Dude, imagine you're, that, imagine we're creating a drunk. bunch of alcoholics here on TLS, man. This is crazy. It needs to be an R-rated stream. Oh god, yeah, we're encouraging such bad behavior. Oh my god, it's Tupacalypse in the game. No, it's not Tupacalypse. It's Mr. Explain. John VVV, the hero of TLPD. He is indeed. Um, so, do you complain a little bit of lag, so we'll see if, if our um, loyal observer decides to leave or decides to stay, and we'll see how that pans out. Is what looking like he's going to go for a standard Forge Fast Expands type build? No indication that he's going to be going for an early gateway style, as often with an early gateway style, you'll place your, uh, you place your pylon on 7, and then make your gateway on uh, either 8 or 9, just to give you slightly more leverage um, against, his, against your opponent. Uh, so it looks like it is going to be a Forge opening for him and Ziki. Uh, meanwhile, looking like it's going to be um, a uh, a nine pool. Overpool. Overpool, sorry. Overpool. <laughs> That's all right, again. These Zerg builds, man. They're Thank tricksy. They're tricksy. By oh, the way, yeah. by the way, you know what? I think. All right. I, I'm gonna try and start saying Ziki's name properly. I think it's like Shiki or something. Shiki. Shiki. I'm gonna say Shiki. That, that Can you sound too bad. really do that? Shiki. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I'm probably gonna mess up. I think Ziki sounds better, but apparently it's actually Shiki in uh, in Hungarian because like the S Z is. S H in English. Yeah. So, all right, we're gonna try. So I feel bad because he's basically the best foreigner, and yet he's like basically the only foreigner who I deliberately or knowingly mispronounce his name. Like everyone yeah. else with a weird name that's spelled differently, I still pronounce it correctly. Like Skyline, I don't yeah. say Skizlime. No. Even though Skizlime is pretty cool as well. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so I feel kind of bad. I'm gonna try and say yeah. say Shiki. Okay, you, you do that, and for consistency's sake, I'm going to have to try that as well. Damn you, Mr. Sale. Because otherwise, we just we both end up sounding a little bit weird. Because then it's like there's three dudes in the game. Which would, of course, be ridiculous. What's, uh, what's going to be really funny is if Shiki's, uh, Shiki's not right either, and I just like pronounce, mispronounce it a different way. <laughs> oh, God. Jiki. I'm going to say Jiki. I mean, Jiki? then we've kind of got all basic. Yeah, we should, we should do two different ones, so at least one of us might be right. I'm gonna forget that though, in the heat of the moment, I'm gonna just say Ziki again. It's, oh, somebody says it's it's Siki? It's Shiki? I, damn it, I don't know what it is. I don't... I have no idea what this is. Shiki. Um... Oh, I have no idea. Alright, some guy, some guy with a Hungarian looking name says it's not Shiki or Ziki. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna call him Zergman. Yeah, okay. Oh wait, no, Zergman's yeah. a different... Zergman's a Zergman's player. a whole nother damn player! It. Oh my god, it's a minefield! Alright, we, we need to just think of an ID here. Okay, well, <clears throat> we've got we've got plenty of time, we can just say we can just say Zerg player for now. I mean, there's no Blue player Zerg. called Zerg player. I mean, Zergman's an original, but Zerg player would be a whole new level. Yeah, um, all the Zerg ones are taken. Zergman, Zerg boy. Yeah. They're all taken. And even Killer's ID on fish is Zerg. Ah, oh, what about Zerg dude? Zerg dude? Zerg dude? Um, that's hard to say, yeah, that's though. I think that's hard open. to say. Zerg dude. Yeah, it doesn't really the G next to the D. Oh, that's yeah. going to create a difficult what situation. What about like Mr. Hungary? We can call him that. Yeah. yeah. But that would that just leaves me with an image of him half naked on a stage with like a sash. And... Exactly. It's a, isn't that, that that's exactly the point, elegant. <sighs> wow. <laughs> that's some powerful imagery right there. So. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you. <laughs> that's that's some that's some pretty stuff coming out. All right, I'm gonna go with Zeke until somebody PMs me and tells me how to say this properly. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Preferably do Preferably with like. A sound clip of how it's actually said instead of like one of those weird pronunciation <laughs> things because you know those yeah, things in dictionaries that tell you how to pronounce things i don't actually know how those work so it never i don't know what the characters me. mean yeah exactly. the characters they just spell it <clears throat> spell it guys <laughs> anyway we haven't been talking about this game at all but everything's completely standard zerg takes a third base or sorry third hatch out of third base um Protoss just doing everything as normally he did uh delay the second cannon by quite a bit feeling safe with a good wall and of course that was Pretty safe considering that his probe kind of sold the links were chasing it and not going towards his base anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, everything is, is is completely normal so far. Nothing nothing crazy going on. Yeah, I can't help but feel that Dewan might have got his tech a little bit earlier, but I guess he just just decided to pump economy and instead that Stargate looking slightly later than he oh, may it's Seeky. It's Seeky. 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 All right, we I had there are like four people typing Seeky in all caps. So I'm gonna assume that's right. I think Siki. one person did it and everyone's just jumping on the bandwagon, <laughs> but okay, let's do it. Siki. 
Siki! Siki! Hey! It's like Sea Biscuit, but even better. Yeah, because you play StarCraft, and frankly, a horse hooves aren't great for the keyboard. Um, now, in the top right hand corner, we have a little bit of zealot harassment going in. I, I like this kind of thing. Um, I think it's good to either commit one zealot or three zealots, never two, um, because two is just a little bit of a waste of money, whereas one you can kind of afford to soak that up. Um, so he's going to be able to position that behind the minerals, maybe probably take out. Um, two, three, maybe four Zerglings even, um, and Siki just gonna be kind of moving around the edge, seeing what he can do about that for now. Almost losing an Overlord to the Dragoon, looks like he is gonna lose that Overlord uh, to the Dragoon unfortunately for him. Well done by DeWalt um, to get that Dragoon out in the nice timing, and that means that his Corsair is gonna be able to head straight out and get some good scouting information. That Zealot uh, still taking out Lings, um, only managing to get um, three or so links in the end I think, so not doing too much damage there, but uh, probably worth some money nonetheless, uh, just for the scouting information. Yeah, and the scouting probe did finally get taken down in the middle of the map as well. He tried to escape, but Link Speed finished. It wasn't able to. Now, of course, he's going to come out. See, the Patry there being placed, so he, he knows that nothing crazy is coming out of uh, Seeky here. Um, I, I, I quite like this Foster Goon, actually. A lot of players will only pump Zealots from the initial gateway. I love, I personally, when I play, I, I always go for the early Dragoon as well, just to kill that Overlord. A lot yeah. of Zerg players are actually quite careful and move the Overlord out of the base before they before the Goon can even get out. Um, but even then, like it's not it's not bad to have that anyway. You just use it as a, in the, uh, with the rest of your army. And uh, it can even help you with like some emergency muta defense as well. Even though Dragoons aren't that great yeah. against mutas, it's, you know, it's just an extra bit of damage. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, uh, I'm curious to see what Ziki actually does from here. Is he going to go for that fast fourth base at the top right? Um, this is basically identical to you know what uh, Dewalt versus True Touch was like in the round of 16, uh, except that Dewalt's not going for the fast uh, plus one speed launch shenanigans. Uh, he's actually playing a lot more standard. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, I think it's an interesting decision um, to play to play quite standard against Ziki. I keep on kind of just forgetting exactly who I'm watching. Then I remember this is Ziki, and I'm like, oh my god, this is such a scary situation. How can anything possibly work? Um, but I think I think the world's playing this quite confidently. I like how this is going for him so far. He's um, not looking like he's going for anything ridiculous or crazy in a sense of just kind of trying to steal a win. But it is going to be um, a speed lot orientated timing attack. Well, not kind of really timing attack, but uh, attempt to seize control on the map. Um, he's going to make quite a few Corsairs as well, making a stacking, making a probe trap behind his mineral line so he can stack um, his Corsairs properly as well. Running the risk of losing that Dragoon out the front of the base as Siki's um, speedlings come in. That is quite a lot of speedlings. Will we see a run by attempt right here? A um, little bit of a risk with that. Is that, is that DT stuck? Oh... What? I think he's stuck. Wait, seriously? I think he's stuck. Oh my god. He's not moving out. He's stuck. <laughs> oh man, wait, what? Forella? Yeah. Is that Forella. that's actually stuck there? Oh man, that oh that is so bad for DeWalt. How does that happen? That uh and also how does he not know that that would happen? Presumably he's played a game on this map in this position and done this wall before. Like but, What? But units are spawning bottom left of the gateway. No, 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 it, it, it tries to spawn where the cannon is and it can't, so it tries to spawn where the forge is and it can't, and it goes counterclockwise, so eventually it will go all the way there to where the DT but actually is, it's correct. I just saw a zealot spawn there. I just saw a zealot spawn there in the bottom left of the gateway. Maybe the zealot was standing there and then the DT couldn't spawn there anymore. Yeah, yeah, that must be Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're absolutely right. Okay, so because the gateway's tight with the forge, you can't spawn here. You can only spawn oh. between the gateway and the cannon, but a zealot was standing there, so the DT spawned on the gap. That's incredible. Oh. That's so unlucky for the wall. We right figured there. it out again. Oh, he can't hold it against him. He can't really <laughs> plan for that kind of crap. Yeah, I was wondering why he wouldn't know that that would happen if he's played like this position before. Yeah. It's one of those things you do it once and you're like, oh, okay, I better not do that anymore. It's very, very unfortunate right there for the wall. He's, oh, he's building big. a shuttle though, so he can rescue it. <laughs> yeah, building a shuttle, so it's probably not going to work out too bad. It looks like he's going to play a, a very, very heavy one base style. Look at this four more gateways being thrown out straight away, so he's going to really go for the one base. Um, and Siki, um, I think, quite sensibly oh in reaction goodness. to this, not taking up a fourth base. Yeah, he's going up to nine gateways here. There's going to be some crazy uh, two base pressure. He's also not got an observatory just yet. Uh, should hopefully get one soon, though. Um, yeah. Actually, are there any lurks on the map just yet? Okay, it looks like lurks actually not quite done yet, done. but, uh, you know, should get the observers relatively quickly anyway, just for, for safety. And yeah, it's yep. quite interesting that Zeke's actually not taking the fast forth. Very, very common nowadays for Zerg to be a little bit more greedy, rely on good SimCity and, uh, 
and defenses and just take that. But he's actually playing a little bit more uh, more carefully here, which is probably yeah. going to actually save him in the long run, considering that DeWalt's DeWalt, kind of going for the two base all in. De DeWalt really thinks that Seeky's going to have taken a fourth, though. Look at this. He's actually gearing up specifically to go in and kill that fourth. <laughs> I think that's even why those units are stationed there, so he can elevate them in. Uh, I'm not sure, but that may be the case. Uh, he's going to go in there and find nothing. That DT might still be useful in blocking the fourth, but no, he decides he's just going to pull it straight back out and may maybe go for some harassing the natural. Oh, and the instead. drone goes right after he leaves. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, that waste. Really, really I don't know why really he didn't lucky. leave the DT there, though. That could still be useful. Oh, no, the course is flying over Hydras. Oh. I was going to be so careful. Also, where are these drones from Ziki going? Oh, I guess he must have just rallied everything to his natural, even from the top right. That's a bit weird. Look at, yeah. these, look at these five drones going back there. I think I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's a, it's a bit bad, but uh, eh, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, uh, this is kind of placement. Oh, actually, doesn't quite wall him in. It's a bit funky, though. His, his goons are going to have a hard time figuring that one out. Uh, I'm, yeah. trying to, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring it out, but uh, that is many, many gateways. Those those drones weren't even a rally point. He just sent them to the minerals. They drilled straight there. Oh, did they? Okay, yeah. I, I stopped following them. I assumed it was a rally point. No, no. That was also, a direct this, drill. I don't understand the, really the point. Oh, man, the shell's going to fly into Hydra's. Oh, no, 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 no. The oh. shuttle does manage to escape. It oh. looks like it might just be able to oh. get away with it. The Corsair's oh. coming. It's doing oh. some kind of distraction. The Scourge coming. Fly away! Fly away! Free! It's still a slow shuttle. It needs to make its escape. Will it be able to get over the top right-hand corner? The hatchery is still not down. And this could actually work out fairly well for DeWalt if he goes back to the top right-hand corner. It looks like, yes, he is going to. He oh, a high Templar stuck in. Like it. He's got a high Templar and a DT stuck at the, at the wall. Oh. <laughs> they do actually oh. spawn there. Yeah, he's having to take out his uh, his own wall. That's weird though, because I know I know what I saw. I saw a zealot spawn out in the bottom left hand corner of the gateway. Um, so it's a little bit strange to see him leaving it for the last second to cancel out that hatchery in the top right hand corner uh, and does manage to get it in time. Of course, air fleet's still roaming around, but there uh, are plenty uh, plenty of hydralists there in order to take care of those scourge getting taken out on the way out. And the shuttle is just seeking refuge at the 12 o'clock, but it's going to get taken out by scourge right now. Um, so not being able to do too much there with the harass. Dewalt has to the plus side for him managed to actually uh, take down the top right hand corner hatchery, but it won't won't be lasting for too long, I don't think. Ooh, DT, I think he knows that the DT still hidden at the. Did I say DT? Z Sigi. Sigi knows that the DT still <laughs> hidden at the top right, he, but he doesn't know quite where. Uh, and this could actually come back and, and bite him later if he kills a lot of drones. Anyway, it looks like Dewalt's moving out with his army right now. He's actually sending a probe, so he's not actually going all in off the two bases. Uh, gonna take a third, but has a lot of units. Oh. As I said, oh man, he could lose a high Templar here. Nope. He's gonna be careful though. That's a, that's a full energy high Templar. Just not want to sacrifice that. But yeah, uh, Siki is going to get pushed back down here. So uh, yeah, it looks like Dewalt going to take his third roughly as the Zerg is taking his fourth. So this is uh, still pretty even, although it looks like Dewalt's money is just a little bit high right now. Yeah, Siki's fancying his chance. He looks like he's going to try and push up there. I think that would be a very, very bad idea. Dewalt definitely, while his army isn't exactly huge, he's easily going to be able to hold the top of that ramp uh, if he so chooses. And Siki's going to have to uh, just try and pull back for a little bit. I, I quite like the way these timings are working out for Dewalt. I think it's going fairly well for him so far. Meanwhile, Siki looking fairly comfortable too. He hasn't been really flustered by the harass. He's got uh, everything in good shape, and it seems like his plan is progressing fairly well, whatever that is. Oh, it looks like he's just going fairly standard. In the main base. <laughs> oh, you've got to be <laughs> kidding me. This is not going Dewalt's way. It really isn't, is it? Um, this this is a danger, though. I, as I recently learned in a ladder game, you should never build a citadel next to your gateways because stuff always gets stuck here. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, just build it in a random corner of your, of your base. Yeah. I mean, God. It's such an easy mistake to make, though, but, you know, you guys please try and remember that. Siki so keeps on looking like he kind of wants to try and push up that ramp, um, but just doesn't quite feel like he can at any point. I feel like he, he might be able to grab some nice high temple last night at some point if he so wishes. Um, DeWalt sees Siki's army moving around, and he's going to have to be called upon to defend that base. The, the, the uh, Nexus might actually get sniped down, though. Uh, however, it looks like Siki's going to be able oh, to... Oh, the army might get it's... caught. The Hydras are going to get trapped. They are trapped. They just have to do as much damage as possible. Storm on the Hydras. Siki is going to lose his entire Hydra army here. Well, not his entire army, but the uh, the attack force that he was using to kind of pressure the Protoss has been sacrificed for really not that much damage. He got a couple of cannons there and the probe, but that's basically yeah. it. Uh, really and now the third base is up, so uh, going to be a bit of a pro transfer here. Meanwhile, this fourth base is up. The DT is still waiting, though, there. He's just waiting for drones to go there, and he can kill them. The Hydras are a little bit out of position, so they won't be able to just automatically attack the DT when it actually goes over there. Um, yeah. Wow, Zeke's actually built a lot of Scourge here to deal with those Corsairs. He's also taking a fifth base at the 12 o'clock, but it looks like DeWalt decided now's the time to attack. He's at 176 supply against the 135 of Zeke. A nice 40 supply lead there for him, but it's still difficult to attack up a ramp like this. Yeah, as long as he's got patience, I think he's got a good time here. It's gonna, it's gonna definitely need a slow and steady approach. Ziki going in, really committing to the snipes right there. He might be able to grab a couple of really high energy high templar. One, of, one high energy high templar goes down. Uh, another one manages to survive somehow, um, even with 200, 200 energy still. Um, and the wall is just gonna have to keep being patient. He's gonna have to do nice, nice carpets of storms if he's gonna ever get up that ramp. But this is gonna. 
pull back. He might actually have more joy at Ziki's um, top left hand bases instead because as oh, we wow. see he hasn't taken up nearly such a strong position up on that ridge. Yeah, that's a little bit surprising. Uh... But I mean, I guess it makes sense considering the top right bases are closer to the Pearls anyway, so more yeah. likely going to get attacked. Anyway, Dwell's still going to try and continue pushing here, but he's going to have really good army control if he wants to break this. Kind of, his army control has been a little bit lackluster so far, a little bit sloppy. Uh, so I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about him actually making any moves there. You know, it looks like Zeke is going to send some links around. Make sure there's no fourth. Oh no, wait, where's he going? Oh, he's actually going to run around. Maybe try and snipe some high Templar at the Natal here. Uh, uh, common move uh, yeah. by Zergs, but it uh, looks like there's nothing for him here for him to actually snipe. So he's going to grab a couple of goons or, or whatever. But oh man, looks like Dewalt actually going for the Natal. Oh. There's only a couple of lurkers. It doesn't look like he actually realizes how weak this is, but uh, is he going to be able to push it? It looks like pulling the links back away from lurkers. It's really only two lurkers here. He can definitely oh, go Dewalt. for it. Why is he not going for it? He really could. I think he's just been too easily pushed back. He got a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of the fear in him, but he, he could definitely go for that. I mean, that's so weak. Two lurkers there holding up the top of that ramp. If we were to be able to get that high ground at the top of that ramp, he would be in a fantastic position with a big army. Uh, and I think it's a little bit of a mistake for him to be pulling back. He's microing well though, and he's going to be able to push up the top right hand corner instead. But I think he is definitely not going to be able to find his opening right there. That is a huge number of lurkers up on that high ground, and he looks like he's going to swing back around over to the top left hand corner base. And he could still have some joy there. Seeky still not in the strong position. He had a, he does have a bunch more lurkers moving out. So I think he may be able to reinforce that momentarily. Um, and I think DeWalt's big opportunity is, is just about gone. He needs to be able to prevent um, that top left-hand corner third base from going up, though, um, in order for Zeke's economy not, not to get too out of hand because Zeke's economy is starting to snowball a little bit. We have one, two, three, four, five now working bases um, versus the three soon to be four of DeWalt, as long as he can keep that bottom left-hand corner base going up. But it looks like there's going to be a strike force of links heading around there and going to be able to put pay to that for the time being. You know what, I, I think this is probably just because DeWalt's game plan from the whole from the beginning was not to actually attack into those bases. Yeah. Like just to get a big army, you have a lot of map control on pressure Ziki and force him to make units, but not actually try and go for a bust. But I think that's a I mean it's not a mistake to have that plan, but when he saw how weak this was, I think he should have just been like, well, even though I wasn't really planning to go for this, I can just go for the kill right now and win it. Um, yeah. Because right now, you know, his army is good, oh. but Zeke is just running around with a lot of links and able to run around the army, so the map control doesn't really mean anything when these mobile Zerglings can just go wherever they want. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, when you're trying to just maintain the map control oh, game man, against Zerg, Zerglings can be all over the place at once, but he is looking like he's going to go for it, and he's getting a decent position, he might be able to get up to the top of this ramp, and if he gets up there with all those Dragoons, and that's going to be scary indeed, but once again, looking quite quick to pull back, I think he just wants to deal with these links, but it looks like Zeke is going to choose this moment to go down to the bottom of this ramp and that could be a good move it looks like the wall sends to be trying to pull all the way back he doesn't feel like he can deal with all the ling reinforcements right now and i think he's right um it would be way too easy for him to get over excited at this point ziki continuing to push forward and it looks like ziki's feeling confident i don't know if this is the best move for my zone player there's Where lots of storms? Storms. storming his army storming these lurkers could be a major major moment for the it looks like he's going to be able to lay down a few storms finally on these lurkers and should be able to take this engagement his positional play has been good so far in this battle and he is going to be able to continue pushing down towards his lurkers if he storms them he could really 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 take a nice windfall here, but Zeke coming in with more units, and Dewalt is going to be forced back for the time being. Though still with a decent army left, he does lose a fair handful of his dragoons. Man, this is ah, uh, this is actually quite shocking uh, play from Dewalt here. The army control is questionable, but more importantly, his high templars. He had only three templars in his army from the beginning. Way too heavy on the dragoons, and he didn't even storm in time when the army was going in. I mean, he definitely, you know, his army composition wasn't great in the beginning, but he definitely could have gotten better there. Uh, if he had slightly better control, and yet he didn't, so now he's being completely forced back. His fourth has been denied here. He's finally trying to set it up again, but Ziki's already on five bases right now. Yeah, uh, so I, I, don't, supply. I, I don't really. I mean. I don't see the- he went for like nine gates off two bases, went for a huge army, decided not to attack and went for map control and yet had a very questionable composition there with almost no high Templar, no storms, uh, and, and didn't even really use the storms properly when the engagement happened, so I'm really not convinced by, uh, by Dewalt's play so far to be honest. No, uh, I think Dewalt's in a very very tough spot right now because Siki is able to take supreme map control uh, of the complete northern hemisphere of this map at this stage uh, and meanwhile pushing over to the right hand side with Swarm and Zergen as well of course the wall not even anywhere close to having his Reaver tech ready yet for defense in each of these bases is going to be hard push to be able to get there and defend this in time it looks like a lot of his pros are going to go down he has a full energy high Templar floating over there and it's just going to go down for free the wall not being very attentive and it looks like he's just going to throw in the towel and go for a counter attack but I don't know if that's going to be that good either because Ziggy still has strong defense positions yeah, it looks like Zeke's fourth is going to get taken down as well. His entire army is being pulled every which way here. He's sending, you know, a max, well, not a max, but a 150 supply Protoss army to deal with, you know, a control group of Zerglings, which is not exactly efficient. 
Uh, he's back down to his original two bases, which are essentially mined out here, so uh, he looks like he's going to be doing a bit of distance mining while the probes just die. I mean, he's basically going to go all in with his army right now, and with Dark Swarm on the map, there's no way that's going to work. He's actually behind in supply as well right now. Yeah. Uh, Zeke's economy is just completely out of control. So, uh, yeah, he's going to go for the all in, but I think it's very unlikely it's going to work. And look, look at his composition right now. He's got like eight high Templars. That's way too many. Um, oh, and it's still so ah. close. Yeah, that's far too many. I think he realizes his mistake, but that's a pretty classic symptom of overcompensation right there when you have an earlier battle and you realize that you don't have enough of something, you just make it like crazy for the rest of the game. And your army composition once again suffers as a result, but uh, it looks like his natural is going to be broken at this point. The Lurkers coming in. I mean, maybe there's not going to be quite enough Dark Swarm. Okay, there is going to be enough Dark Swarm. And those Lurkers once again going to be completely immune to any cannon or Dragoon fire and uh, are going to be able to continue busting their way in. So while continuing to try to counterattack, and you may actually be able to get somewhere with it, but I think Seeker just going to be able to continue to reinforce. Look at the mini map. Look at that oh stream of goodness. reinforcements coming in. Oh man, Ziggy going in with all of the lurkers, the dragoons getting slaughtered. Great storm there, but I don't think it makes a difference. The Protoss army is looking very, very small now. GG, GG from the walls. Uh, I'm worried, Sale. I'm starting to get worried. That man. If he actually had attacked Ziggy's, uh, sorry, I keep saying Ziggy now. Ziggy's natural. Uh, when he had that huge army and there were only two lurkers there, I, I'm pretty sure he could have just won the game. But uh, yeah. just played it too carefully and uh, tried to play the long game, which, I mean, not only is he trying to play the long game against Ziki, but on that map, as I said earlier, you know, third is a reduced gas, fourth is very far away and difficult to take. I don't think it makes sense to, to try and like play a super long game. If you have the advantage at that point, you should just risk it and go for the kill. Yeah, I, I really think he should have gone for the kill. The opportunity was there. He was so close and he could have really made a game of it. But apart from that one opportunity, Seeky just went too untouched for too long. Uh, and Dewalt wasn't able to exercise any of that map control while he had it. Because I, I don't think it's necessarily a particularly effective way to play it against Zerg. Especially on a map like that where there's a fair few routes around. Because he could just keep sending Zerglings out of each base. And there's no way Dewalt had the spread to really deal with that. Um, and I think that his plan kind of fell a little bit short. Yeah, I mean... Uh, the style is a bit weird to me, I'm still trying to figure it out. I mean, going 9 gateways off 2 bases, just like for a bit of map control, seems kind of weird to me. Yeah, that um, looks like it should be a bust, or or, or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it should be a bust. Yeah, it's, that's such a heavy investment. Anyway, that's okay, it's only game 1, it is a best of 5, so there's still plenty yes. of chances for DeWalt. And uh, we're going to take a quick break, and then bring you guys game number 2. Be right back. 